When it comes to transforming rotary motion into linear actuation, there's likely no better mechanism than that of a cam and roller. Cam and roller mechanisms are often used in engines, repeating machinery, and other manufacturing applications. A cam consists of a rotating shaft that usually has some oblong or non-regular shape used to induce the desired linear motion. There are radial cams, which translate motion along one axis, and even cylindrical cams that can translate motion along two axes. The roller, sometimes called a follower, is a piece that follows along with the cam's motion and is typically restricted to a strictly linear field of motion. If you're aware at all of any sort of machine design, you likely know that translating rotational motion into linear motion is not always the easiest thing to do efficiently. Cams and rollers do this task with ease, but there also exist a subset of cam designs that provide for very fluid and precise motions. Cams are not limited by simple shapes, rather they can be designed to have an organic or flowing interface with the roller mechanism. This results in more specialized radial cams. It's this range of freedom in cam and roller design that gives engineers the ability to create unique mechanisms with only a simple rotational input. Like any translation of motion, there will always be some loss of energy. Cams in rollers have very minimal energy losses, however, due to the fact that the interface between the parts is such a small area. Thus, there's not a lot of friction. There are two main follower contact types that interface with cams, flat-faced and roller. Flat-faced interfaces are simple and they resist jamming in the mechanism. The drawback is when designing more organic cam shapes or a precise path is needed, a flat interface falls short. On the other hand, a roller interface can fit into precise cam shapes, but it can jam easily and is generally more complex to build and maintain. To dive deeper into cam and roller design, we must consider the dynamic interface of all of the parts. Usually, cam mechanisms are used in machines that require a rather precise movement, and losing sight of any of the physics elements therein, like velocity, acceleration, and jerk, could result in ultimately a bad design. A good cam and roller design will result in the follower maintaining a fairly constant velocity and acceleration in all of its relative cycle phases. So if you're ever faced with designing a cam and roller mechanism, or you want to go into some sort of machine design, remember that if you aren't precise in your design, your end product or machine will likely fail earlier due to fatigue or not even work at all. In the world of camps, there's even more than we discussed here, but this was a basic introduction. Theoretically speaking, there's an infinite number of cam designs that can be used in a machine, but it requires some ingenious engineering to do just that.